A message from the Flight Safety Department. Colds and flus, an underestimated safety risk. You're sitting in the briefing room. You've got an exciting mission ahead of you. But you've also got a runny nose and a slight headache. You think to yourself, I'm feeling better. Besides, it's only a cold. It's nothing serious. You decide to go ahead. Here are three good reasons why you shouldn't get on a plane, even when it's just a cold. First, your eardrum could be ruptured during the flight. When you suffer from a cold, the mucosae in the eustachian tube, which connects your middle ear to your surrounding environment, can swell and block the tube. This condition reduces or even prevents pressure equalization. You might not notice anything during the climb, but the descent can become a serious problem for you. During descent, a vacuum builds up in your middle ear, and your eardrum is pushed more and more inwards. You won't be able to compensate for the changes in pressure very well. In the worst case, you won't be able to adjust at all. Early in the descent, this condition can make itself felt as mild hearing loss and slight discomfort. As you continue, the pain will get worse. The possibility that your eardrum might rupture increases. Don't believe it? Even at lower flight levels, a descent of 5,000 feet is enough to rupture the eardrum when you can't equalize the pressure. Possible consequences. Grounded from flight duty for a period of several weeks to several months. In extreme cases, total grounding. Second, the periosteum in your sinuses might detach. Go flying with a head cold and you could find out the hard way. The sinuses, like your eardrums, are connected to the outside environment via narrow passages. In case of a cold, these passages can be swollen, almost shut, so that pressure equalization becomes difficult or can't be achieved at all. As a consequence, the periosteum might detach, resulting in severe pain. Third, you might become disoriented. Even a small reduction in your ability to equalize pressure during climb and descent can lead to wrong messages being sent by your vestibular system, possibly resulting in dizziness and sickness. Both symptoms reduce your performance capability tremendously during flight. You might be thinking that taking conventional meds makes all of this irrelevant. Way off the mark. Caution. Meds might ease the symptoms of a cold, but the mentioned risks will remain. Not to mention the side effects of the meds, drowsiness, sleepiness, resulting in performance losses, negative impact on communication, etc. Handy tips. 1. Avoid risk. You don't feel 100%? Don't fly. Be aware of and don't minimize the risks. Take care of your teeth. A decayed tooth can independently, from an infection, lead to toothaches in case of pressure variations. 2. Mitigation procedures in the air. As a pilot, loadmaster or mission crew member, in case you or passengers have difficulties to equalize the pressure, pain in ears or throat, request a climb to a pain-free altitude. The descent can be adjusted later on. Keep in mind that even though it's just a cold, it can still pose a severe flight safety risk. Your performance capability, communication, situation awareness is limited. You can find yourself quickly overloaded and unable to deal with any additional unexpected circumstances. Please forward this video to anyone you know. And remember, sick air crew members risk health and safety. It's your responsibility.